Welcome back to The Sims 4 Pokemon Gen 1 theme. And it may appear that I'm reading, but it seems like I just am looking at a Pokeball on top of a book. Good job, Trainer Lauren. Keep up the good work. Oh, and Bulbasaur's making a salad, getting the wax out of her ear. You know, just being a normal- Oh my god, she- <laughs> out of her ear and then continued to use her hand right into the salad. Nobody eat the salad. It's disgusting. Clean it up. You throw that out. Ugh, I can't believe I just witnessed that. Super gross. Anyway, we're gonna be jumping ahead a tiny bit from where the game would be going next because next in the Gen 1 game, you're supposed to go visit Bill and he gives you an SS and ticket to go on the boat. And I thought about making Bill and whatnot, but uh, I feel like it's not super important for this series. So let's just pretend like we went and met Bill and helped him and he gave us the SS and ticket. And now here we are. So you may be able to guess where we're going to go now for this episode. That's right, the SS and. Look how awesome this house looks. So I got this build from Kesson Keys. I don't know how to say this, but yeah, this is the boat. Isn't it awesome? So yes, this is our makeshift SS Anne, and we have to eventually try to learn the HM01 cut from here. And we're the only ones here. Where the heck is the boat crew? Oh, I guess it's like five in the morning and nobody is working the ship. Okay. <laughs> Look at Pikachu. Good job, Pikachu, working out. Oh, you could do it, Pikachu. You could do it. All right, well, I guess we'll just wait out till the crew comes. All right, I think the crew is arriving. Yeah, sailors. Oh yeah, all the sailors are coming. Yes, that's right, my character's calling them. Pretend like you don't see this. All right, so sailors, oh, who's this? Oh, a horsey, okay, we've already seen horsey. Any new Pokemon around here? Oh, this sailor looks different. Is this the captain? <gasps> it's the captain. All right, we need to get the HM cut from him. He needs to teach it to my Pokemon. Oh, there's a star you here. Oh, wait a minute. What Pokemon is this? I think there's a new Pokemon. Oh, it's a Machop. Do you guys like my acting skills? Do ya? I tried to add whatever Pokemon the sailors usually battle with in the game, and it was mainly Horses and Staryu and Machops. And oh, here's the other new Pokemon. It's a Tentacool. She looks kind of freaky, I know, but Tentacools look kind of freaky. Tentacool, Tentacool. And yeah, and they have Staryu's, Horses. Oh, I forgot to get a Goldeen here. In case you guys are interested in the layout of the SSN. I, well, I love these little like wheel things out here that's supposed to simulate the wheel treading through water. But this is the first floor. Pretty awesome. This is the second floor where people can have their own rooms to stay in. There's a deck out here. And then up here, the sailors can work out and the captain's area is. This would be an awesome party place. <gasps> Let's throw a party. Oh, never mind. We can't throw a party because it, it won't let me throw one at this location. Why? Eh, we'll just keep inviting people over then. Oh, here we go. Here's Goldine coming with her beautiful mermaid fishtail. Oh, Machop and Horsey are playing together. Together. Oh, I invited Bobby and Charmander. Because technically I'm supposed to battle my rival again on this boat, but we just battled him last time. So I think I'll skip this battle and do it. The next time I think is in Lavender Town. Ooh, Lavender Town's coming up. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Did Bobby come? He was supposed to be here. Aw, Tentacool is trying to talk to Staryu. I wonder if I could help a girl out. I mean, a Pokemon out. She's not really a girl. Other Sims. Ask about another sim. I like Staryu, he's pretty cool. Talk up another sim. Talk up Staryu. Oh god, what is Butter, who's calling Butterfree? Oh yeah, I forgot, I had her join that Paragon Club. Nah. Oh, oh god, Butterfree, what? Professor Oak is wondering if you would like to go over his house and hang out. Stop trying to hook up with my Pokemon. Wow, I'd love to get to know him. Oh, this is going well. You guys are both water types. Oh, this is going so well. Oh, I'm Pokemon matchmaking. I spoke with Staryu and find him quite pleasing. Hook up with Staryu. Do it. Do it, girl. What? What do you mean? What? No? I don't know. Staryu, you're not fair. Ah, oh, It was going so well. Forget you. Oh, Professor Oak! What are you doing here? Are you still trying to hook up with my Butterfree? Oh, God. They're talking. Oh, I think I finally see Bobby. He finally came. There he is chatting with sailors and there's a star you down here it's 
come check out rival Bobby, see what he's up to. Oh god, Bulbasaur's cooking again? Nobody eat Bulbasaur's food. There's probably boogers or something in it. I don't trust it. Where's the captain? Oh god, Professor Oak, what are you doing? Butterfree has learned that he's a kleptomaniac. I forgot that was a trait of his because he wants to catch them all. Or he doesn't want to catch them all, but he wants to get all of their Pokedex entries. Let's see if he steals anything from here. Oh god, is that Bulbasaur's food? Be very careful. Be very careful eating that. I have no idea what she put in it. Oh, everybody's coming to eat at the same time. This is adorable. This is so cute. Yeah, I decided not to battle any of the Pokemon for once. We're just all gonna get along for a little bit. This episode's so peaceful. Wait, what is going on? Uh, oh, this is so weird. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just picturing this image of like, Professor Oak and, and a Butterfree kissing each other. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh, this is gross. Oh god. <laughs> Professor Oak, very flirty, no! Butterfree, no! Capra, Professor, no! You, you need to get away from here. You go home. Actually, I'm putting you back in your Pokeball. Go home. Oh god, he's still kissing you. No, 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 no. You're going home. Goodbye. Goodbye, Butterfree. Wait, I told you to go home. Where'd you go? This is not home. Oh, you gotta go to the other side. I gotcha. You go home, aka I put you back in my Pokeball. Jesus. And now Professor Oak is sitting with my two other female Pokemon right in the middle of them. Oh my god, Ekans is here. Yes! Ekans, you're so beautiful. He is so good looking. I have to figure out who will be his soulmate, soulmate someday. Oh my god, he's flirting with my friggin' Clefairy. And now my- Oh god, oh god. And now he's flirting with my- Oh my- Professor Oak, you need to go. <laughs> You just need to go. Just go. Just go. I know you gave me my first Pokemon and all, but just go. Are you not going? Go home. Oh god, he's not leaving. Where's the captain? Let's just learn cut and get out of here. Oh, here's the captain. All right. All right. Captain, you gotta teach me cut. Captain, please teach me cut. In the game, he's feeling sick and I comfort him. Um, oh, I know how to reenact that. Bulbasaur, use your poison powder to make the captain sick. Perfect. Then I can comfort him. Did she do it? Oh, good. She did it. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Are you okay? Are you okay, dude? How did that just happen? Oh no, he just left. Where you go? Yes, make him puke! Yes, make him sick! Don't you feel sick? Don't you feel sick? Why don't you feel sick? We're gonna have to do it again. Does it not work if he's doing something? Oh! He's sick. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You are very sick, sir. Hold on. Wait, where am I? Am I sleeping? Why are you in a row? Look, he's alone. Bobby's dancing by himself over here. Rival Bobby. Rival Bobby, I'm gonna get cut and you're not. <laughs> teach dancing. Really? You can teach dancing? Good, Bulbasaur, you're up here because I'm gonna teach you cut. Hip bump him. He will transfer his cut knowledge to you through the hip bump. She's like, all right, makes sense. <laughs> Give me the cut knowledge. Why are you staring at me like that? I'm not into you like that, Captain. Also, don't make out with my Bulbasaur. Don't be a Professor Oak. Yes! Do you feel the knowledge, Bulbasaur? Do you feel it? Bulbasaur, I need you to test out your new cut ability. All right, Bulbasaur, you are going to practice your new cut ability on this random sleeping star you. Wake up, star you. I need to practice my cut ability. Please come here. Wait, no, don't run away from me. I'm just f creepily following him. It's just like, star you, come here. Star, you come here. Oh God. Oh, I just did it in front of everybody. Well, I definitely learned the cut ability. Oh yeah, Bobby, you better be scared. Oh God, this is so scary. This series is so scary. Well, I uh, I learned cut. Oh no, the little match hop. Uh, clean myself up and clean this up. Bah ha ha. You guys have no proof. Whoa. Um, what is this? Coughing, are you pregnant? <laughs> Ask to feel baby? Oh my god! <gasps> Whoa! Um, guys, I think coughing has an alien baby inside of him. How did that- Oh! 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 It's because when I used this book and did, um, get a sim abducted, I didn't know that it was an actual, like, alien abduction though because in the sims if you get abducted by an alien sometimes whether you're male or female you can come back pregnant with an alien child all right well uh i guess coughing's gonna be giving birth at some point what does he look like in his normal outfit oh god ask to feel baby wow charmander showers with a cape on that's pretty epic <laughs> 
I can't believe Coughing's pregnant. I abducted a lot of Sims using that book. I wonder if any of the rest of them are pregnant or just coughing. <laughs> it looks like just coughing. I feel like I would know by now. All right, so we learned cut. I think we've done all that we can here. So let's uh, go back home. Come on, gang. Oh, jeez. Butterfree's still flirty. Butterfree, you're not leaving the house anymore. <laughs> Can't trust you anywhere. So I'm checking out our map, and it looks like we can now make our way to the Diglett Cave. I don't think you guys are ready to see the Diglett Cave. Talking about you guys, the viewers. I don't think you're ready, but I'm taking you there anyway. <laughs> ah, yes, Diglett Cave. Let's go knock on the door. Butterfree, if this is Professor Oak, I swear to God. Oh, I heard you became friends with Professor Oak. He's pretty cool. Shush, Ghost Pidgey. Whoa, this place is pretty awesome. Oh my God, that's a TV? What? I downloaded this cave off the gallery too, so I haven't been inside of it, but what in the world? This is a TV? Oh god. Oh god. They're Doug Trios! And a Diglett! Oh god, all the Diglets are outside! These are the most ridiculous looking Pokemon. Oh god. Yeah, so I went along with that, like, Doug Trio meme that they have, where it's the three muscular guys that make up the Doug Trio heads. So we have three muscular Doug Trios, and their faces are ridiculous. I tried to make their mouth really tiny, because it's non-existent in the character. <laughs> and then I made their noses really big. Look at this! Look at the guy behind there! That this... Oh my god, I think Doug Trio Cave is now my new favorite place. And they have like really evil eyes. And then I gave them gray pants to simulate like the rocks and dirt that they come up out of. And same with uh, Diglett. And then I gave them pink shoes for their pink noses because I couldn't give them pink noses. So that's to make up for it. And I made the Doug Trio guys brothers, the three of them. Yeah, these three Doug Trio guys. Oh my god, why, why are you guys outside? Call over, call over, call over. Come inside. The Doug Trio or the Digla toddlers are so adorable. Or sorry, adorable is not the word actually. They're very interesting looking. I tried to make their mouth so small and their faces so long. They just look so weird. I kind of need to catch one. And by catch one, I mean just like kidnap it and bring it back to my house. <laughs> Uh, Pikachu, what's going on with you? There we go. I fixed you. This one wants to be my Diglett. Hey, Diglett. Pick up the Diglett. Pick him up. Oh, you are... M Whoa! Oh, I thought I just threw him back in the chair. Oh, this is my Diglett. My Diglett. Add to family. Guys, we caught a Diglett. I've been saying we need a, a male Pokemon up in my house, so I'm catching Diglett. And plus, Diglett will easily help me win against the third gym, which is an electric Pokemon. What is this thing? Ooh. Cool. This is a nice little setup you guys got here. There's even a pool out back. Oh my god, there's an upstairs? I didn't even know. Oh, you guys going in the pool? Oh, you got stuck in the rock. Oh, God. Oh, they're naked. Butterfree. Butterfree. First of all, Duck Trio, you can't really be in the water. It's going to hurt you. Number two, Butterfree, you're a little skank. How are you over here? Oh, she's still naked. Ah, uh, she put some clothes on. But is flirting with Duck Trio, and we can't even see him. Oh, God. Wait a second. Who is this? Oh, my God. It's Professor Al. He's naked, Butterfree. Oh, God. Butterfree's naked. Oh, my God. What is it? What? What is? What happened to Duck Trio? Professor Oak, this is weird. This is just straight up weird. All right, Butterfree, go home again. Go home. You can't be trusted. Go home. Home. She just went home. Professor Oak, who invited you? Is he wearing a Speedo now? <laughs> Professor Oak, you're seriously my favorite character. I also love that all the Doug trios are in the kitchen together. I mean, they're supposed to be together at all times, pretty much. Oh God, he's talking to me in a Speedo. Professor Oak, compliment outfit. I really, uh, really digging your Speedo there, Professor Oak. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get him to stop chasing my Butterfree. This is really weird. Professor Oak, I did not give him a bathing suit. This is just what he automatically got. Trash another sim. Butterfree. You don't want to be with a Butterfree because Butterfree is a Pokemon 
And you are a human, and you need to be with other humans, okay? All right, before this goes too far. All right, all right, uh, let's go home and leave the Diglets and the Doug Trios to deal with this uh, half-naked Professor Oak. Wait, where's my Diglet? Oh, he went home already. Okay, everybody go home. Doug Trio, uh, have fun with Professor Oak and Aspita. We're all gonna go home. Aw, thanks for bringing Diglet back, Clefairy. Diglet, welcome to your new house. Okay, let's bring Diglet inside. There there you go, little Diglet. Enjoy your new house. All right, let's add our new Pokemon sightings and catches to our Pokedex. Oh, the basketballs, I forgot about that. So we caught and saw a Diglet, a Dugtrio, a Machop, a Tentacool, and I think that was it for new Pokemon sightings and or catchings. Not too shabby. Oh God, Clefairy, come on. Put yourself together, girl. All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Sims 4 Pokemon Gen 1 theme. Next episode is going to be an exciting one because, well, I mean, all the episodes are exciting, but especially exciting because we are going to be battling for our fourth gym badge in the electric Pokemon gym. I also have a feeling that Bulbasaur is pretty close to evolving. Oh God, there's a fire. Where is there a fire? Where's the fire? Pikachu! Oh god, you're you're on fire. Help! Oh god, it's so loud. So loud. So loud. Somebody put it out. Hello? Anybody gonna put it out? There we go. As an insurance payment for the items that were damaged? Really? We got insurance money? Sweet! I didn't know that. Good. Now we can replace this and this. Friggin' Pikachu. Kidding me? Stop cooking things. Let Bulbasaur cook. Well, actually, no. I don't trust Bulbasaur either with cooking. I mean, her food's gonna have gross body fluids and things in it. But at least uh, she won't burn down the house. Oh, Diglett. Oh, no. I'm so tired. I don't even know where I was in my outro. Oh, yeah. Next episode, fourth gym badge against the electric gym. And we might be fast forwarding to going to Lavender Town, I think. But anyway, if you made it this far into the video, make sure to leave a like before you go. And as always, I will see you guys soon.